Hi, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining us today. As I've told you, we have a special guest, Andre from Astrology yeah. Alert. Please, everyone, give Andre a warm welcome Hi, and everyone. a huge round of applause. <laughs> Hello, Hello. Hopefully they can see us. I mean, you know, I, I don't use uh, StreamYard. Well, I only use it when I do collaboration, but I'm going to have to do something. Either use Microsoft, that new Microsoft thing. I forget the name of it right now mm -hmm. uh, or something. Do something different. Although there is a new... Hi, Jodine. No, Lind Linda G is, uh, is this Friday. <laughs> Oh, Linda G is in the house. Oh, great. Welcome, Linda. Okay. I, you know, without further ado, I know we, the time is going to fly by. The first thing, you know, uh, Andre, I, uh, I feel like asking you about is Elon. And the reason why I'm going to start with Elon, because we've spoken about him quite a few times on my chat. Uh, and, you know, when I stream, this morning, Elon basically posted and asked on it tweeted that people should go and vote Republicans. And that really annoyed me, you know. But I have the reason why I said that is because I have been feeling uh, I don't feel he's going to be in charge of Tesla. I, from what I understand, the way that it's either structured or he's the majority share owner. It would cost the uh, investors a ton of money to get rid of them. I don't know how that's going to happen. But am I wrong for feeling this guy, first of all, he's going to get himself into a lot of trouble? And number two, uh, he may not be in charge of Tesla within the next three to five years. He may not be in charge. Yeah, I, I could go along with that. I'll tell you why. Because yeah. this guy is... Uh, He's a Cancer Sun with Gemini planets, and then he's got Virgo planets. So you you always can track someone's progress or lack of progress. You just follow okay. the Saturn cycle, and Saturn is going into Pisces next next spring. Okay. And so that's going to start putting pressure on his his uh, Gemini and Virgo planets, and after that, it'll be his Cancer. And Libra planet, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven, eight out of eleven. Okay. That's a lot of energy. So, uh, when you take into account also that he made this move to go into the Twitter thing, uh, this year, earlier this year, he started to negotiate it. He's doing that on a Jupiter uh, cycle that is a square, and this is uh, something you see people do a lot, they go into expansive ventures on Jupiter squares, not realizing that there's almost always something problematic about it. Really? Yeah. That I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. So so the thing is, this guy, his Gemini planets, that's what makes him a car mogul. But Twitter, Gemini and Twitter also go together because Gemini is also the place of communication and the place of short right. messages and this kind of thing. So I think he fancies himself uh, a great communicator, but I think he's going into the wrong lane. And I think it's probably gonna uh, cause a lot of problems for him. And when you say three to five years, yeah, that fits really well because the next really difficult cycle is the 2025 period when uh, Saturn will be in Aries squaring cancer. And that's my sense of when he'll probably really, you know, get pushed back. Yeah. Yeah. I, okay, I'm glad you feel that way. And the other thing I feel like asking you, I'm confirm, I'm trying to confirm some of the things that I've been getting intuitively. Uh, mm -hmm. I also feel these guys, they like within the next 10 years or so, or maybe within, you know, five years or so, I should say, he won't be as well, he will fade from the public, you know, that's, or that's start fading or start fading. Well, that's, uh, I would welcome that intuition. I won't go as far as that. I'll just go, I'll just say that within five years, he's going to be in trouble, which usually leads to fading. So yeah. Okay. In a way, oh, in a way, I see what you, yeah. okay. No, I, you yeah. know what I'm doing? Okay. I didn't think of it that way, but yes, Yeah. you have a point. It's very possible. Part of it is that, 
I, I think people, they, they radiate what they are. They can't help it. You know, they're out right. in the public and they radiate what they are. Yeah. This guy, there's something off about this guy. There's yeah. something, by the way, whenever you see a person going from supporting Obama to supporting Trump and supporting, there's yeah. something wrong with your head. Exactly. It's not really possible. This is the same thing that Kerry Lake did. And you think to yourself, how can you go from one extreme to the other unless you're on some kind of ego trip? You're doing something that is more self-will than than connected to the... That's... You know. So I, I'd say Elon Musk, uh, yeah, he's brilliant in one way, but when you see him overreach like this, you know, and, and push in a certain direction strongly like this, in an area that he probably shouldn't be going into. Uh, yeah. I would say, yeah, I agree with you. You know, if you just said something, and I think that what's going on with him now, I don't know if you notice, some people, it's like, I, this morning I was wondering if you, I, well, you can, just like Trump used to do, talk to the people at, the, was it Fortune? or the magazine that prints the top five billionaires, not Fortune. I think Fortune is one of them. There's another one. Yes. Uh, Forbes, but you know what I'm... I'm sorry? Forbes. Is it Forbes? Forbes. Forbes, exactly. And maybe he's... Uh, Elon is doing something similar. Okay, because they, they're calling him visionary and, you know, genius and all that. So when I focus on him, it feels like to me that's beginning to get... Go, you know, it's gone into his uh, head a little bit. You know what? Well, I mean? Not a little bit, a lot. A lot, a lot. Yeah, and that's the. This is the thing where, you, you know, I sometimes have had, you know, edgy discussions with people because they'll want to throw every billionaire under the bus because you know they're all bad. Right. But you can see differences. For example, I actually think Bill Gates is pretty benign compared to a guy like like. Thank Elon you. Musk. Yes. Yeah, because he's he is spending a lot of his money toward helping people. He understands that you know money is something you channel, and it's actually right. society's money. You know, he was great inventor of software and so forth. So, but this guy, to me, yeah, he's ego tripping. As soon as you see someone, you know, interested in propelling themselves into space and stuff like this, and then behaving the way Musk is behaving, you can just see it's it's this you know. Yeah, it's ego. It's ego. It's it's Trumpy. It's got it's a Trumpy it, it, approach. It, that's true. That's a good yeah. name, Trumpy. <laughs> yeah, it's Trumpy. It is even. Trumpy. Yes, that's what I you know. That's what I've been feeling as well. But I like I, like I told you, I look at the chart, and totally I can get some things from it. But it's not like the details that you can do at the speed you can do it. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna yeah, miss yeah. stuff anyway. You know, I mean, that's that's yeah. a lot just, it's just being, uh, you know, everybody has their medium and whatever. Yeah, exactly. It's, so, but it's easier. Yeah. I, I sure. felt, you know, I'm like, okay, I have you here with us today. So we're going <laughs> <we're gonna laughs> to talk yeah. about him. And also, as I'm talking to you about him, do you get a sense that he's going to lose a lot of money? I'm getting that. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just I, getting that now as we are speaking. Well, uh, I would say, let's just say that I'll go along with you pretty easily because because just look at what he's doing. Look yeah. at this maneuver, tens of billions of dollars in a business that isn't making money. Now, how, how many times have we seen this before? And then what are the odds that you go in? Some of his ideas, like he's gonna start charging people money, that almost never yeah. works. You know, so you, you see already in advance that the behavior matches the the Jupiter square, this classic thing. Oh, I can make this work. Yeah, it's great. I can do it. I'm a great communicator. I know how things work. We'll see. Um, Personally, I doubt it. I okay. Doubt it. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, let me see. Did I have, there was something, something else about, oh yeah, no, it's, it, this one is about Trump. We can segue into Trump now and then we can go back and forth as we go <laughs> forward. Did you hear this morning that Trump, uh, said well not this morning for the past couple of days reporters who ha who are connected with the people around him he's going to declare i think this is going to be a fiasco i feel trump is trying to basically uh bully doj you know but because it, it, i've said that in my uh stream that he is going to like threaten 
that he's going to unleash his followers on DOJ and prevent them from, uh, or he thinks mm -hmm. he's going to prevent them from indicting him. Do you, how, how do you feel about that? Um, Trump is going down. He's going yeah. down. He is, he's been facing, as you, as everyone knows, increased mm -hmm. pressure. And this is real pressure. You know, when you have multiple investigations, yeah. uh, with, especially with, uh, two or three of them with tangible evidence, like the one in, uh, New York, you've got paperwork there and you've got yeah. clear paths to making a case. Then you've got that one in Georgia with clear evidence. And then this guy, because he's so brilliant, you know, he's the smartest man alive. <laughs> exactly. He goes in and he gives DOJ, you know, the perfect case by actually taking ultra classified records home. Yeah. Which is the, the thing you never do. I mean, the last thing you want to do if you want to play the game he plays is never create actual tangible evidence, which he's done. And then in the astrology, he's been getting assailed by multiple planets which is a reflection of why things are not working well. But now, as we go into 23, 24, and 25, the yeah. Saturn and Pisces cycle is very unfavorable for him because he's got, you know, his sun and moon getting squares from both sides. It's lethal. It's very bad. Uh, this guy is going to end up in major legal trouble if he doesn't, you know, experience something much worse because that house is super dangerous for health as well. And he's not exactly taking care of himself. So right. the situation is, is very, very perilous. And the thing is, I understand that he's trying to bully the Department of Justice and bully everybody. Yeah. But yeah. He's put them in a position where they can't not charge him. It's it's one of those exactly. things. Where, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, he, he has gotten a lot of people at DOJ ticked off at him. And... You're exactly right. They have no choice. And he's done it to himself. Uh, pretty much. To, they, they, you know, to indict him. But yeah. uh, the, the th somebody posted something here, and I'm wondering if you get the same thing. It reminds me, Jonas, fear is of something that I was getting this morning. The Prigozhin, that, that Russian guy who's in, who owns Wagner, the Wagner Group, he said that he admitted that they have been interfering with our elections, you know. Absolutely. Now, you know, if you look at Trump's arrogance, and this is something I've said it, but, you know, like way before he lost the election, I have always felt there was a Russian influence in the background. You know, Putin, you know, sending communications, communicating with him through via third parties. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because if you want, you know, I know Trump has a huge ego and he's arrogant as, you know, for him to take a chance and doing what he did in January 6th and still come back again thinking he can either do the same thing or uh, he can create chaos in this country. There is something else at play here. I don't know which planet, you know, so your intuition as well can tell you if I'm correct, but I have been feeling, and I've said it in my streams, uh, and also I had a vision, and I said that to a long time ago when he first became president. I saw Russian soldiers in the White House, you know, as if they were guarding him. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, Yes, they weren't there in person, but in spirit, they were there with him as far as communication back and forth between Putin and him. And you know something else? And also, Putin was, but put in, in a manipulative way, Putin was reassuring him that we are with you. Do you get a sense of that, you know, from the energy that you get from his chart that it's not only his arrogance, there is something else at play? Did I make that clear? Did I make myself clear? You know, well, like, yeah. Gonna... Are you referring to? Are you referring to that Trump has been promoted and assisted by the Russians? If that's yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, look, even even what is out there, what is right. out? Okay, one of the things that people forget because the news is just coming at you, you know, like a fire hose. 
the Intelligence Committee in the Senate under Republican control, yeah. guys like Marco Rubio and Lindsey Graham, concluded the investigation and said yes. that Russia helped Trump clearly and tried to damage Hillary. And then Rubio went out and immediately tweeted the opposite because that's what these guys do. He tweeted, oh, no, that didn't happen because they know their tribe will follow them no matter what they say. Exactly. But on the record, it is 100% clear that Russia was helping Trump. Russia's yes. been helping Trump since the 90s because Russia knows the way to harm American democracy is to cre bring in figures like this, disruptors, you know, yes. chaotic figures who can, you know, bring in racial issues. They know race is the biggest problem in the in the U.S. So if oh, you can do that, oh. you, get a, you get a racist like Trump and you're off to the races, right? No you went. Exactly. You no, know, you can just create chaos. And, but you and know something? And, but I feel that's giving him some comfort as well. And it's motivating him to behave the way he's behaving. Because if sometimes I look at him, I'm like, he's not doing all. Yes, he's arrogant. He thinks he can win. But there is something else more to this. It's like they are saying to him, you know, they are egging him on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. we, we are behind you. We will help you. It's not going to happen. Well, I mean, you know what? Putin is behind you. Putin has got his own problems, as we know. So exactly, <laughs> exactly. Mean, great, like that. What, well, what a powerful ally you have there, buddy. But he doesn't. Yeah. He, he, him and his family. You know, they think in terms of money. Yes, totally. Okay, so yeah. they think that, you know, if Putin says we are behind you, they're behind him. You know what I'm saying? That's the way it feels like to me. They're looking at it, not knowing that. This is going to come back to bite. And someone else, uh, Artis is asking, let me post this. Is Kremlin, is Musk a Kremlin asset? I feel like saying yes. Uh, and I'll well, tell you. I mean, he might I'm sorry, just, go ahead. He, he, I'd, I'd say at, at, at this point, he's at least a sympathizer because you see that he's been playing games with Ukraine as well. I mean, the Ukraine thing, why is that so hard for people to understand what's happening there? Ukraine is trying to be democratic and Russia doesn't want them to. Don't make yep. it complicated. It's that simple, right? So yep. Musk has been getting in the way of that too. But yes. you know, this is nothing new in America. I, I, I was really shocked when I heard this podcast that um, Rachel Maddow put out. And I was under I the heard. impression that in the 1940 period when the US came together to fight the Second World War, yeah, the astrology is that way. It's going to tilt more that way then, you know, toward unity. But even so, she points out that even back then, there was a strong, you know, pull in this country toward allying with the Nazis. There were people. You yes. Know, so promoting that. So these forces are always there, uh, regrettably, in this country. And so far, we've kept the democracy going. But we got to always be on the lookout for people like this. Like must reminds me of back then it was that aviator Charles Lindbergh right he, he allied with the Nazis and then he ended up on the wrong side of it by the way he got in a lot of trouble eventually right well that I feel that's going to be part of Eli's problem as well potentially I yeah I mean, don't know that's... exactly how it's going to happen but he's going to get caught on something that's very nasty him playing that game you know it uh Double, uh, you know, when you're playing both sides of the, of the fence, mm -hmm. okay, this guy, that's going to be part of his problem, problems in the next five years. Do you remember I told you before, you know, when you said and you agreed that I went, when I felt he was going to recede? Mm -hmm. And you know something? There's something go happening. I said it's Saturday in my stream because I believe I saw it Friday night or Saturday morning. There is something with his feet. The it's next right. to his big toe, yeah. The, he, he has something is, I don't know if it's just starting, you know, uh, but there's something medically wrong or mm. some kind of an infection I feel he has. But anyway, uh, yes, I feel that, I don't know if it's only Russia, but something he's going to do. Yes, I do feel, you know, all these guys, you know how remember when he went to see Trump when Trump was first elected, he was among the first people to go visit Trump. Mm -hmm. And when they were showing it the other day, I don't think it was innocent, no, you know, because of his business, his you know, 
he's going to, to see Trump. I don't think so. There is more to this than that. And this morning, him coming out supporting uh, Republicans, it's because Putin would like Republicans to, to win, thinking that he's going to get a break. Yeah, for sure. For sure. No, there, there's no question. I mean, uh, you're right. It would have been in part because of the business. But this guy is clearly, he's clearly tilting to that side of the equation now. Because look what he, look at the tweet that he made about Paul Pelosi, which was totally made up. You know, yeah. So, so I mean, he, he's definitely left the reservation. He's, that, he's, was, that was pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. And then he's he's talking about wanting Twitter to be uh, the most honest, truthful site. Sure. Yeah, and somebody pointed it out to him. That's what you want. You shut yourself in the foot. <laughs> and you say you want Republicans to vote. You know, people to vote Republicans. Are you it's kidding? Incredible. I mean, you know, one of the things that in the astrology that I, I'm looking forward to is that yeah. the Neptune in Pisces cycle which started in 2011. And the plus side of that is there has been a lot more positive information published. So you can go on YouTube now and Twitter sometimes and different yeah. places and find information that I remember I used to struggle years ago to find it in some occult shop or something. That's the good side. The bad yeah. side is all of a sudden truth and lying seem to be the same thing. There's this disinformation uh, explosion. Yep. And I think that has to change because it's very, very damaging. And, and people like this, you know, are the, the most dangerous because they have social power. Exactly. And they apply it in a way that is, that is, uh, that is horrible for society. But I feel that's what it's going to change. I've thought about that, mm -hmm. Yeah. you know, but you know, the, at the same time, when this country starts to heal from all this craziness that's going on right now. Okay. And also, there are going to be technical changes as well. Besides, people uh, will realize, and to Rivia feel, okay, that they are being duped, not only by the Republican Party and people like Trump, you know, but there are going to be technical innovations or new ways that would prevent uh, our enemies from spreading misinformation the way they do today. Because, you know, we have to remember when they were, well, the internet was like, it grew one thing in front of, on top of the other. They didn't realize this thing was going to be the way it is today. No one uh, could predict in the 1980s. You know, let's, no, I don't, the internet in the late 70s was at, at, at its infancy. They were using it in labs to communicate among people. But in the 80s, it started taking off, becoming more public. And in the 90s, it really started to blossom. The thing is, I may be a little too early, but uh, the point is they could not anticipate some of the things that are the way it's being used today. True. Yeah, absolutely. That's part of the problem. And I feel they are, I mean, without getting technical, but intuitively, I feel there are going to be ways. They're going to come out with ways to prevent uh people to simply the way they can hide today they're not going to be able to do it anymore you know what makes i mean sense. yeah that makes sense and that that's i i notice in the astrology those patterns tend to be when the outer planets are shifting signs like what happened in the 90s the okay we had neptune and um neptune and uranus went through aquarius which is a very technological sign. So that was the explosion of the internet. So really, yeah, these planets, what ends up happening is when they switch, you see major social shifts and Neptune is going to be switching signs in 2025. Same with Pluto. That's two big, big planets switching. Yes. energies. And so, yeah, that fits uh, really well with new alignments and uh, absolutely without question. Oh, what do you think? Okay. Yeah, no, it, it tends to be that way. I mean, that's the thing that uh, we're living life and we'll think, oh, this is going to be like this forever. No, there's a constant no. shifting. Yeah, Change. Constant shifting. Okay. But I didn't know. Uh, I, I got to look into that because like, I, I watch your channel because I'm learning as well. I, I watch astrological uh, channels because, like I said, I use my computers. But when you hear somebody talking about it, it's it stays with you. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, so. yeah, no, and they're very real. I mean, the cycles in your own chart, absolutely. Yeah. And then in the world cycles, if you study them enough, I mean, look at this guy, one of the most striking things. I, I totally missed this one. It was It's not my specialty. So, but there's, okay. uh, I've mentioned this many times, this um, French astrologer named Andre, Andre Barbeau, he said okay. in 2011, we're going to have a pandemic in 2020. That was nine he years did? ago. Yeah, he said that, you know, bluntly because right. he had researched that particular topic and the jupiter saturn pluto conjunction it turns out those planets either conjoined or doing squares like linked to each other uh -huh. in strong aspect correlate with pandemics going back to your justinian times now there's research really? you know so uh the cycles are real but you know they move slowly enough that people begin to think oh there are no cycles nothing's happening no yeah there are things right happen. well yeah for if sure. you are, you know, have familiar a little bit like I am with astrology, you know there are cycles for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, okay. I'm glad you know you you see you feel. Oh well, it coincides with what you're seeing in the chart that there are changes coming. It's not going to stay like this because I'm like, if you know, and if you listen to Republicans, they think you know. We're gonna take charge, and you know we're gonna be boss, and it's gonna go our way, and we're gonna be there forever. If you listen to them, I don't know if you have follow how closely you follow some of them. Oh, I do, I do. I follow them as probably as closely as you. We're all you know, <laughs> with the I, same part of, it, part of it. I follow it because it's it interests me. Stay related to the astrology. Part of it is because to survive. I mean, we gotta figure out what's going on because exactly. It's yeah. It's uh, so yeah. No, they say things, but the thing is, there are past cycles that they contradict this because one of the things that I had spotted in 2020 yeah look back and I noticed that just the Saturn cycle alone Saturn is a 30 year you know spinning around 30 right. years so what I noticed is and I, I did a few videos on this because I thought this is encouraging for Democrats because back then we you know we're dealing with Trump and we're all thinking oh my god right <laughs> they're not win so uh, Saturn, when it goes through Aquarius and Pisces, which is where it is now, it's not, okay. Aquarius is kind of worse than the Pisces. Every time you look back, you see a progressive administration. So the last Saturn and Aquarius and Pisces was the Bill Clinton era. Okay. The one before that was the JFK and uh, Lyndon Johnson era. The one before that was Lin was uh, Roosevelt. And if you go back further, you okay. find you find Republicans that were really Democrats because back in the uh, Civil War period, uh, the Republicans were actually the ones trying to defend people. You know, Lincoln was, you know, was basically a Democrat, but he was running right. as a Republican. So you can go back all the way to the 1860s and the administration mm -hmm. there. And then Teddy Roosevelt is another Saturn and Aquarius and Pisces. He was a progressive uh, Republican. Oh. So, so that logic totally contradicts this idea that they're going to take charge. And the other thing is, separately, if you then say, okay, different planet, Pluto. Pluto's been in Capricorn since 2008, and it's going to switch to Aquarius in 2025, 2024 right. already. Even next year, it's going to do a little dip in there, but then it backtracks and goes back in. So basically, fully in in 2025. If you think of Aquarius, say, contrast to Capricorn. Capricorn is a governmental sign. So you put Pluto okay. there, you automatically invite fascism, which is what's happened. Look at throughout the world. It's not just here. Exactly. It's a problem everywhere. So the Pluto and Capricorn is for everybody, not just for the U.S. Yeah. So, but in Aquarius, Aquarius is the sign of the people. Aquarius is, is the most democratic. It's the idea of groups, you know, getting together. Now, the one drawback that I, the danger is corporations because uh, Aquarius yeah. is also corporations. So you could get power clustered in groups like, but it's like, happening now. We yeah, have power, power clusters now. With the one percent of the one percent, one the one percent of the one percent. All you know, uh, Elon Musk, Trump, and his you know top top guys. Mm -hmm. You're right. It's happening yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, it's true. So there's where the government needs to balance it out. But my point being though that that fascism is like a you know, one person, you know, you think of right. Mussolini, Hitler, the way Trump plays. And curiously, when was fascism last on the rise? It was in the 1930s when Pluto was on the other side in cancer. So you're in that axis, Capricorn cancer is why you get that behavior. But oh. it's now, it's about to end. I mean, we're, we're in the last 
few degrees of Pluto, right? Right. So a lot of these things they're doing, my feeling is it's just like grabbing on, hoping you can continue. But I don't think it has good traction, including this thing they're trying to do to women. This is wackadoodle, yeah. man. It's totally wackadoodle. We're, we're not living in you know 1900. This idea that you can restrict women. Exactly. There's no way. You're going to cause them to go into politics and they're going to come after you. That's what you're Well, doing. that's what's happening. Yeah, but exactly. Exactly. I, but, you know, I'm glad you, 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 you pointed that out because I told everyone when this thing came down, I said, this is not going to stand because, uh, first of all, you know, women have fathers, husbands, brothers, and sisters. You know what I mean? There's no way. This is, this is so crazy. But, you you're making the point that you know Republicans think they're gonna be in charge for forever. They're gonna be they're gonna be able to, to oppress and do all kinds of stuff, you know. Yeah. But I'm glad it's in the chart as well. I didn't know about uh, the combination. This, you know, I mean, I know about cycles, but I don't do research like you do. You know what I mean? And you you yeah. you are able to coordinate mm -hmm. all those you know different cycles and 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 time what was going on at that time. That's pretty good. Yeah, no, that, I, mean, I mean, in the end, it, it, you always make astrology. Part of the problem can be that, like I say, if you say, okay, well, Aquarius is for the people. Yeah. True. There's good evidence of that. But then there's also Aquarius isn't just that. It's also, for example, groups that may not be so nice, like corporations that are could be completely evil. So that right. could be a danger. So you're always on the lookout for for things going south, you know, for not uh, working well in that area. Oh, yeah. But this idea of, you know, this thing that Trump does, only I can do this. This this kind of thing is Pluto and Capricorn. And you, you already saw Bolsonaro. He already went oh, down. Oh, yes. Right? Yeah. And Putin, I mean, what, what what's Putin going to do? Putin is done. You know, Putin, yeah. I, I always say to people, how do you do what you're doing with a $2 trillion economy? You're fighting... Yeah. 20 trillion here and 20 trillion in Europe. That's a lot of money. That's yeah. a lot of resources. That makes it really tough, man, to pull this off. No matter exactly. what. Right? So it's 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 a it's hard going. You know, I'm glad you mentioned the Putin stuff because this morning, in fact, I was thinking about that. You know, if you notice Trump, Putin, she is you know, he he hasn't begun begun to slide yet, but I feel that's another person that's gonna get what upside the head as well i don't know if i don't know how close you like looked at this chart i don't mean to spring it on you but yeah it feels like to me in the same timeline i mentioned before within the next five five years or so right he's gonna have major problems so that you know i, I don't know what you're getting he got, okay, i well, didn't mm -hmm. him i'll confess that i looked at it briefly but Sometimes with you know uh, charts coming out of a country like China, you get skeptical. But there's no time to. There's only a day. Right. You didn't see that much in the immediate thing. No. However, I will agree with you just because just look at the common sense of what's happening. Every everybody keeps saying China, the next rising power. No. The thing is that way of governing has a lot of problems, such as you know they now they're imposing way too much COVID restriction, which has put their economy you know. Uh, yeah, on the breaks. At risk, yeah. Uh, and and that's the only, it's like they have one playbook. They, they can't really adapt. It's all authoritarian. Yes. It can help their economy. The other thing is there was that incredible scandal they got into where they, there was a lot of real estate that was bought. And, and bottom line is, is that China is not at the moment expanding. And I don't have a lot of faith in the way they, they conduct their, no. their governance. You know, could, but the other thing is too, how do you live in this era? I mean, think about this, right? I think the minute the internet was invented, it makes it really hard for these guys because uh, exactly information is so difficult. You know, people yes. find out. <laughs> they find out. It's impossible. Like, oh, yeah. To it's do impossible. the things that they used to do, and you know, before the internet uh, came into play. Yeah. Exactly. So and, I, I I agree with you in short that yeah very. You I know, feel it's coming down the road. All of them, like a domino, they're gonna fall because Trump. Thank God he he didn't. You know he had no chance of getting a foothold and staying in the White House. Bolsonaro, Putin is on his way down because I don't feel he's gonna survive. The, you know the situation that he's in now. No, and after that, I feel it's gonna be uh, she. And Putin's chart has some really really serious health signals. 
being admitted? Yeah. Oh. But I don't talk about it much because I can't confirm it. But I, you know, I, f I feel you're correct. Somebody mentioned that too last week. They mm -hmm. said he has cancer and Parkinson. Somebody wow. from secret, some kind of secret service from somewhere. Oh, from, I'm sorry, not secret service, intelligence from some kind of country. I don't remember which country that was. They said he has cancer or had cancer and he's fighting uh, Parkinson. I mean, I can't tell what they, uh, from the astrology, I can't really tell what it is, but I know it's not good because right. it's, when you see cycles that lock in and extend for years and you get any kind of report that someone is being yeah. challenged that way, you think, whoa, hold on a second, this could be dangerous because yes. I know the aspect very well. I've experienced it. It works exactly like that. So it's not <laughs> And, and the other thing is Putin, in that way, is very similar to Musk. Putin is another cardinal sign, and okay. he has done this latest thing. It's it's a, a Jupiter, in his case, opposition. That's an overexpansion on a, on right. a period, which, again, can seem like, oh, yeah, we'll get it done. This is it. This is the one. I don't think so. And then you get Once yourself you in trouble. Wall, and then you get pushed back. You know, yeah. Enjoying it, so... And you know, one thing I'm sure everybody, somebody mentioned that if they're going to, let me see uh, if we're going to get the result of the elections tomorrow night. I would be shocked. I See, the thing is with tomorrow night, Yeah. the reason I would be shocked too are astrologically a couple of things I can think of. One is we're on an eclipse, like today type thing. Yeah. Today, tomorrow it's an eclipse. Now, the thing about eclipses though, people, if, you know, they'll bring them up and go, oh, there's an eclipse. If you think about it though, Eclipses are going to be good for some people and not good right. for other people. And that's, in yeah. fact, what's true. I've noticed eclipses that really felt rough when I went through them, low yeah. energy, you know, and then some that are very uh, inspiring. I get this right. clarity. And so what are the odds that everybody's going to be happy tomorrow night? They're yeah. very low, right? So that's the first thing. The second thing is in the Mars cycle, you probably have heard that Mars is retrograde. And yes. it's about to be in a very tricky spot for the U.S. because it's near where it is at the U.S. birth, and that's a dicey spot. That's, in fact, the reason we're going through this whole thing. There's right. a Mars-Neptune square. And yes. Neptune has been working that square for these last years because Neptune is really slow, so it gets in there and it kind of yep. eats home. So Mars triggering it. As soon as you see Mars, think combat, right. violence, you yeah. know, arguments, screaming and yelling. Exactly. So, yeah, the odds, I would be beyond amazed if we reach tomorrow night and there isn't, you know. Oh, no. I, I expect shenanigans. You yeah. know what I mean? Because if you hear, it's unfortunate, really. That I, I, but I wasn't surprised because I've been saying it to my, uh, in my stream. Expect voter suppressions. Oh, you know, well, I didn't put it said voter suppressions. I said Republican shenanigans, you know, the cheating, stealing and doing everything. It's working in, 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 in uh, Florida. Mm. They, are, they, ha they are successfully suppressing the black vote. It mm. was in the news this morning that a lot of black people in, uh, in Florida don't want to go vote because they don't want to get in trouble. They're afraid. So they are successfully playing those types of games and they, among other things that they are being sued for. That's why I've been saying, you know, to in my streams that we have uh, the energies with Democrats, you know, mm -hmm. but I'm glad the way you put it earlier when we were talking before we came on, I was telling you about this. Uh, but people have to go out and vote in numbers. And I said that two years ago, you know, I said the same thing is going to happen for this election cycle. A lot of people are going to go out to vote. And that's what that's one of the things that's going to help us. And also Democrats have to make uh, the point that, you know, make sure they hang Trump around the necks of every single Republicans that's running for office like an albatross. Yeah, you know, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's, you know, it's the thing about Trump is that everybody is, you know, leery of Trump, scared of Trump. The thing about Trump is that there are two things. Number one, this thing about he's going to run again. You know why he hasn't declared yet? The reason he yeah. hasn't declared yet, the most important reason is because when he declares, 
the way he's using all that money changes instantly. He doesn't want that. <laughs> this man is like this man is a money worshiping, you know. Oh demon. my god. Yeah. Money is everything to him. So he knows the minute I say I'm going, that's a big problem right away. So yeah. that's why he's conflicted, right? That's the first thing. The second thing is maybe he'll have to, because if he doesn't declare, he thinks it's gonna protect him. I don't know how it's gonna protect him, but he thinks I heard that's not gonna say, happen. Oh, that. these Democrats are coming after me. Maybe, right? But the question is, ask yourself. How is he going to win an election? If he runs, they're guaranteed to lose. Trump is a magnet for massive uh, Democratic vote. Because yeah. Democrats can't stand the guy. So he's the last guy you want to run. You know, I mean, it exactly. might, it's, it's like a, a, a great way. If he runs against Biden again, Biden will beat him again. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But anybody, you know, like, like you said, he's looking for protection. He thinks, you know, you see how dangerous those rich people are or those who have lost contact with reality? Yeah. You know, the thing, well, you know, if you notice, if you look at it this way, that's the way I'm seeing it. They are playing with our lives. Yes. That's what yes. Trump is doing. Yes. Because this guy, because of his own ego and, and Putin's, okay, he's trying to... Well, basically, he tried to cause an insurrection. It didn't work. Mm -hmm. And now he's running again, thinking this is going to uh, be able to cause another insurrection, become president again, and cause more trouble. He's basically, there is a, there, it feels like to me, please let me know how you see this, but what you were talking about the cycles. That's where we are now. So you were right. All these people, they are playing with our lives. Yeah, yeah, and I said this is true. It's not new. You can go back in history. There have been many people like this who get in there and exploit Hitler did this, Mussolini. You can go back and find plenty of horrible people. But you know what? It almost never ends well. It almost never exactly. Ends. You know, that's the bottom line. I mean, you when you when you feed everything into your ego, you're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna make mistakes because a large part of society can't stand you for good reason, right? Well, and then that's, you, get, you get problems, right? Exactly. That's what's happening to him, Elon, and the world is hates Putin. You, yeah, but this is true. <laughs> I mean, isn't this obvious? I mean, yeah, it's totally true. Right? You know, would you want to be in Trump's shoes? Because even with all that money and power, that is not a good oh, place. No. To be. This is not a good place to be, in my opinion. No. You know, you're, you're asking for major trouble. Not to mention that you're living. Every single day in a cesspool of anger and rage and and you know oh, that's yeah. not good for your health. That's like he's a hard attack waiting to happen. You know he's used to it. He's used yeah, to it. Well, you know you, you, you know? can be used to it, but, but now it's worse. I mean, you know what I mean? Because he it. knows he's not going to win. Yeah, he he yeah. knows he's not going to win this. It's a matter of like how do okay? What I feel right now, Trump's game is. How do I stay out of prison? Yeah, that's probably, yeah, yeah I think I agree with you, yeah. How do I that's, stay out of prison? Yeah. <laughs> that's the way I've been getting him and his family. They think that by, you know, they think they can scare DOJ. The They've never met a foe. I mean, first of all, how do you fight a state? You lose. And that's why I'm saying, like you were saying earlier with Musk, mm -hmm. you, you have 260, 265 billion dollars. You think you're going to fight with the American government or go against the American government? That's what the dummy is doing. No, no, it's, it's, a, it's a bad idea. It's, it's a great way to get yourself in trouble. Yeah, because Elon they, Musk, they like, I'm sorry, go ahead. I no, apologize. No, 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 continue, continue. You, you, Elon Musk is not in the best interest of this country. No, I, I agree with you. Yeah, I know. I, I had a, I had a uh, discussion with a friend who, a good friend who, we agree on most things, but he likes Elon Musk's um, yeah. business acumen, which I don't dispute. The man is brilliant. I, I get that. I, I don't I, even think I, he's brilliant. You give him a lot of credit. So that's well, nice okay. of you. But let's just say, I mean, no, <laughs> no that's me. <laughs> you know, by, by the way, it, it, a little bit is like you got dollars and cents. If you say he's accrued a lot of money, okay, fine. Let's give him that. He's brilliant. Yeah. But, but as far as like his social connection, the man is a he's a little whacked. If you if you look at the way he behaves, he's he's like he's not all there. Something about the no. way he's reasoning seems off center. You know, yes. like, so so that's scary because he's. Uh, manipulating a lot of money. It which, is very uh, scary. Yeah. But it's the notion that if you notice the way 
I don't know if you how you perceive him, but intuitively, when I focus on him, he thinks he can play at the American government. He can get away with anything he wants. That's mm -hmm. the way I'm getting him. I'm mm -hmm. not saying it's, but because you see, he's looking at what Trump, how much Trump is getting away with. You know what I mean? He feels like Trump is getting away with a lot. So he can push the envelope. Did you say that? Did you see that? There is, um, I saw somewhere, oh, it was this morning, I was listening to a young lady, I've never seen her, she's an astrologer from Canada. She oh. did, you know, his chart and she was talking like that he pushes the envelope. That's what he's doing because Trump uh, is pushing the envelope and he's getting away with it on, on, well, on in their minds. I'm not saying it's correct. Yeah, I know, but I mean, when you're pushing the envelope and then you're in seven different courts. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, come on. I mean, just say this is like you and don't I mean don't make it too easy or anything. Leave recorded messages or leave, you know exactly highly classified records. This is not me, yeah, you're pushing the envelope, but it's pretty risky stuff. You know, uh, the thing is I think what sometimes people forget is just look back at anything in history, legal uh, situations resolve slowly. You know, you'll yeah. hear a person and then it takes years and years and then bam, you know, they uh, uh, they come after you. I sometimes watch these programs where their FBI is trying to catch a criminal and yep. they'll have all this evidence and they'll say, Oh, it was 2003. And they had all the, and then, and then they go, then they went to court in 2006. And I'll think, why did they wait three years? Yeah. They don't build the case it's slow. And then someone looking at that would say, why is that person not in jail already? Look what they did. Cause it takes quite a while, you know, right. to build the case properly. And exactly. also people like Trump, Musk, they, they pay, high price lawyers who know how to delay, delay, stall, right. file papers. It is really tricky. And and not, not to mention that, think about a guy like Trump. If you put him in front of a jury, how are you gonna find a jury that will convict Trump? It's complicated, right? Because there are so many Trumpers. So if oh, a Trumper yeah. sneaks into the jury. You know, right? uh, I, I, okay. The way I, I'm, I'm seeing, I've, this is not my first time saying this for a very long time before everyone you know started believing this guy was even going to get in trouble i knew he was going to be in trouble and i knew he was going to go to, to prison well he's not going he's not there yet mm. but i would be shocked if trump doesn't end up in prison well uh you know it's that's curious my with, it's, it's curious with what you say uh um uh, i know some some readers think he won't uh but there even so most good readers that I know would mm -hmm. see him really declining and being in a lot of trouble. And a guy like this, I would be I would be happy even if he didn't go to prison, if he was just bankrupt and defined, you know. So oh he no, he, he I, I've said that too. I had a vision a long time ago. You know, when he first went into the White House, I saw him sitting on a, a cheap a beach chair. <laughs> 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 that to me was a sign that he was going to lose a ton of money. And if you look at the trend right now, where things are heading for him, yeah. his businesses are losing money. Mm -hmm. He has a ton of lawsuits and among other things, you know, uh, that the, the, the little money he's raising from his base is not sufficient. I feel, I don't know. Let me know how you feel about that, but yeah, I don't think well, it's enough to take. No, no, I agree. And, and, and then his name is now a swear word. You know, it's, it's complicated. It's uh, he, his name. He used to use it. Now people rip it off buildings because you know, the reputation yeah. is, is really poor. I mean, part, part of the problem he has is that, is that he needs money from the side of the equation that doesn't like him. You know? Right. So, uh, in a way it's ironic because the people that back him are the people that he wishes he could let go. He, he wants to be admired by the by the thinking people, the, the yeah. other people, but they don't. They can't stand the guy for good reason. It's not, it's not gonna happen. And Thank you very much. One second. Sorry about that. Remember what you were gonna say, Chris Blakely, Blakeney for generosity on the super chat. We appreciate it. I'm sorry, Andre. No, no, no. I didn't problem, mean to no. cut you off. Go ahead. No, no, it was it was just more yeah. Trump wandering around. Like, yeah, um, but the thing about Trump is that his his chart is rough in the short term and rough in the long term. There are patterns in okay. there that don't let up for years. And that's a big problem. Big problem. Right. You know, because okay. once these things lock in. That's it. 
Yeah. And, you know, but I, I, I'm sure everyone wants to know, and they were talking about just to, you know, so we can, because I know you're busy, uh, so we can, before we finish, you know, the energies with Democrats, I don't know what the chart says, but I feel if the uh, people continue voting and they go out and drove it, vote tomorrow, Democrats have a very good chance. That's what I feel. And I've been yeah, saying that for the past two years. Me too. I, I first talked about this in 2021. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's uh, the central one for me is Biden. But even when I look at Pelosi versus McCarthy and I look at Schumer versus um, McConnell, I get the same the same thing. It's a little tighter. You know, there's a bit of a possibility. But if you if, and, and the way I know is that if someone said, OK, you got you have to bet, you know, you have right. to put a bet. I, that's what I would bet on. I so that's bet. why I am, you know, I'm feeling the way I'm feeling because of the the way you, the energy is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, exactly, okay. exactly. And so. you know, as I'm saying this, you know what I just felt? I think McCarthy is going to take a fall. McCarthy's which? He's going to take a fall. Something <laughs> is going to go wrong. Are you talking with about his career? McCarthy. Oh, with, oh, with his career. Yeah. Well, okay. So his career, you see that that's a good point. That's what the chart. Yeah. It shows that. It shows that. Oh, because, yeah. Well, he's on a Saturn return that is very complicated. Oh, he's in a Saturn that, return? Yeah. Like it happens next year. And uh, the astrology often don't look too close. Look what's around and what's coming up. Right. And, okay. Uh, that doesn't fit well oh. with being in a, in a, you know, a position of power. The way his chart is set up. It fits more with what happened to him in 2015 when he was denied. Remember back in 2015? Yes. He was going to be the replacement for um, for Brian. Bo uh, Boehner or whatever his name was. Boehner? Oh, yes. Ryan Boehner. No, was it Boehner, Ryan? And then, no, it's Boehner, Ryan. That's right. Ryan. But, right. But it was because they were going to make McCarthy the next speaker, but Ryan yes. got more votes. So, so uh, McCarthy was denied. He was denied the speakership. Right. And okay. There, are, There's a somewhat of a similarity to that and you often get um information that way by comparing when did he win when did he lose he didn't do well then and oh. this period that he's in is very tricky you know for things uh not going okay so, i didn't i didn't look at his chart uh but as i as we are speaking uh i i am not saying it's this what i'm getting is going to happen tomorrow night it may but i don't think so there is a major something major that's going to career wise that's going to happen to him, and I'm glad you you know the the chart shows it. I did not know he was going through his second Saturn return. That's interesting. Was, well, second Saturn return with a really tight square to his moon. So when you get a Saturn return, uh -huh. the key is to say well, what's what's around that Saturn that triggers okay. a major difficult spot. And the other thing is this guy. Mm -hmm. I don't have much respect for this guy. This guy no. is the classical example of a corrupt politician. Oh why would you God. why would you speak so clearly in January pointing at the right source, which was Trump caused that insurrection, and then you just change your mind and you go over to Mar-a-Lago and you kiss his ring? What is that about? They think we're gonna forget. <laughs> they think we're gonna forget. That's the problem. It's well Oh my God. Yeah, it's the people the people that follow him don't seem to care though. I mean it's uh they don't. They don't. We, I, well, you know something? The Republican base could not care less. The, those people lie to them. They cheat still. They catch them. Well, look at that guy, uh, Walker. Okay. I mean, <laughs> Walker, yeah, I know. hello, you know, <laughs> Walker, they don't Lord. care. He's, you know, he, he, you know, he's the second coming of God. You know, God anointed him. The pastor was saying that, that to be senator and God is going to bless him. I'm like, oh, my. Uh, you know, it, it's, well, I mean, so it the base doesn't care. <laughs> isn't it ironic that he's running against the pastor, an actual pastor? Exactly. <laughs> it, that's exactly what they, they were saying this morning. You exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he's running against, he's the, running against the man of God. Yeah. It's so crazy. Oh my God. Let me see if they have questions. Just, and then I, the crazy uh -huh. part is you, you listen to, to the, the two of them and any normal person within five minutes would realize, what is this guy doing running for, for Senate? This is not a job for this guy. Come on, come on. I'm, you know, but I'm glad Obama told them, you know, over the week, last week. Yeah. Obama made it clear. Oh my God, that was some job. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I know. I think I don't think we have many questions, so I think the football. <laughs> we will close. All right, everybody. Okay, Andre, thank you very much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you, chat managers, for your help and everyone for your support. Today is Monday, so I will see you later. Thank uh, you, everyone. and thank you, Milu, for inviting me on your channel. It was a pleasure. You know, it was it was a lot of fun. I've never uh, collaborated with an astrologer before, so you were the first mm -hmm. one. It was, I love astrology, but I, as you know, there's so much to learn. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I, there's no, I didn't even try to memorize all that stuff. But I give you guys, my hat is off to you, uh, astrologers, for all, oh, man. Oh, thank but you. It's a, fun, it's a lot of fun. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you later. Same time. Bye. Bye everyone.